Okay, so what I did here, I don't know if you can see it, but I pulled down the uh, rubber thingy here below the little edge here on the aluminium tubing. And I took the plastic uh, uh, cap neck and uh, cut it to length. And I needed to cut out some sections of it so I could fit it inside the tubing here. I don't know if it's the right dimension, but let's hope it is. So um, now it's supposed to just be to stick it in there and uh, take a plier and pull it upwards. I don't know, let's see what happens. So, a little bit fiddly, but now it's in there, I think. Whoa! So that was easier than I expected actually. So there seems to be some kind of springs inside here and you, when you push up with the plastic tube here, they releases and it just let go. So let's see if I got a gush of petrol running out when I remove the No, actually nothing at all. Wow, that was really amazing. Okay, uh, one left. Let me see so you can see it properly in the camera. Uh, yep, yeah, you can. Okay, where's the screwdriver? It's here, so this is the rubber connection. to be needed ah, come on. okay here we go don't want to break it I think it's oh, there's a little bit of a Okay, and the plastic ring, insert it and push it upwards, and use the fire. Ah, there was a little bit of petrol coming out. Okay, I need to plug that in some water and that too. Okay, so that was much easier than I expected and uh, not too much ripping either. So that's how you remove the fuel lines from the fuel rail in uh, Sub 9.5.